Hello, my subscribers. I just wanted to talk about something that I wasn't going to talk about, and I decided to change my mind. I want to bring up the Giants, my favorite football team. Now, I hate to make proclamations or anything like that, or I think I did this in the past, in past videos, I was like talking about what I thought could be possibilities for a good season or, you know, how many wins and stuff like that. I really don't want to do that too much because, you know, they've been bad for so many years and it's tough to kind of guess how they're going to do. But we have, the Giants have new owner, new um, GM new coach they're analytic they 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 you could tell from the way they went about their you know off season that they a lot of it was stats it wasn't just like the like the last gm who just got big guys hog mollies to to you know for the offensive line and defensive line and that was like his like philosophy so Basically, statistics, need positions, things we really needed. Um, anything we, we truly just really needed. That's the, that's the, the GM, and I suppose the um, coach had something to do with it, too. He probably put his input when he wanted a player or something. We had a good draft. Got a lot, again, and a lot of need players. We needed offensive line, we needed defensive line, and we needed just... Various different players on both the offense and the defense, but so we, we we addressed the needs, and we were put in a tough position. The Giants' last GM, Gettleman, was just he was a bad choice. He was old fashioned. He was he might have worked out fifteen twenty years ago, maybe even thirty thirty years ago, or I don't know. He was old fashioned. He ran the club. The team, shall I say, in a old-fashioned kind of way that doesn't work in today's game, where everything, every sport now is analytics. Everything is built on stats, and that's how the new GM works and the new coach works as well. So that being said, are we improved from last year? I think so. How improved? I don't know. Um, we improved our offensive line a lot. I want to say we improved our defense too. And just various different positions we improved and just got players we needed. I think we're better. We, we now have a backup quarterback who, if Daniel Jones looks bad or gets hurt, you could throw in Tyrod Taylor, who is kind of like... A little bit like Bridgewater. Maybe better when healthy, actually. Better arm, possibly. I mean, he's capable of starting. I would feel comfortable with that. I would have liked to see Davis Webb. He looks, you know, as a third string, he looked really good. And I know it was just preseason, but he was playing with the, the backups too. So he had that disadvantage as well, and he still did good. And so I would have kept him. I think that was a mistake. But that being said, he's on the practice squad. If anyone gets hurt, I'm sure he's going to be the first one shuttled in or shuttled up, whatever, to uh, take the place of whoever's hurt. So finally, back of quarterback. Maybe the best we've had in a long time. Maybe since, like, Carr. Like, in that last uh, championship year we had in 2011. So, I think we're improved. The question that really has to be asked is how improved are we? We won four games last year. I'd have to think we're going to probably win more than that. How much more? I originally Mike made a proclamation of maybe seven or eight games and any more than that would be a bonus. And honestly, it still stands to be true. I mean, that would be an improvement. Would it be playoffs? Maybe not. I think there's like three wild cards. 
or something like that in the in the lead in each like NFC AFC. So, I mean, there's more of a chance to make it there. There's more games, so you could if you mess up early, you could always step it up late. I would say injury is going to come come to come a a big way into play this season. Daniel Jones, when healthy, in my opinion, looks like a hybrid of Peyton Manning and Eli Manning. But the dude can run. I want to say like Archie, but maybe better than Archie. I mean, the dude can run like Lamar Jackson. So it's like basically a hybrid of Eli, Peyton, but the dude can run like Lamar Jackson. I know he fairly tripped in that one play. And it was played over again on Sports Center and whatnot. But the dude can run. He's he's an athlete. He even caught a, a pass as a receiver and ran with it. I mean, the dude is a is a freaking athlete. He's really good. So if he stays healthy, and that's been the key the case with him, he's never been healthy. He's like always injured. One time he got a ankle injury, high ankle injury, then a Low ankle injury. I mean, something different, like, every year, like, causes him to get injured. And so if he could stay healthy, and I think the key to that is the offensive line. And if they're as improved as I think they are, at least on that end, he should be on his feet more, not being, like, sacked as much. Well, we'll know early on. I mean, plus, I mean, a new offensive scheme, Ka- uh, Kafka, I forget his first name, Mike. Mike Kafka from the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. He was an offensive coach on their team in Kansas City. Oh, my God. They're, like, they're good. They're good offensively. So we poached a, a pretty good offensive coach who's going to be our offensive coordinator and call the plays. And as a backup, our head coach is the former offensive coordinator of the Bills. I mean, another great offense. So we've got two great offensive minds running the team. Our coach is more of a player's coach, I've been told by certain people in football that he is not a pushover, but he's also not going to make you think you're in the military, and if one guy messes up, you all got to do, like, um, laps or whatever, or military-style, like, exercises. I mean, it's, he's not like that. He's basically a player's got kind of guy. And I think that's what the Giants need after coming away from from Judge, who was basically a disciplinarian, which kind of surprised me. I mean, he's a really young guy. Oh, maybe it's just his upbringing, how he was taught. I don't know. I don't know. I like more laid back kind of shit, you know. It's just... If you're too strict, it's not going to work. Not with these, like, rich players. They want to... Um, they, they, they they don't want strictness. It doesn't work in this, in this game. Football, basketball, baseball, whatever. Whatever sport. They, they just like to... They're like a player's coach, basically. That's how it usually works. So... I think bottom line, again, it's going to come down to, are we improved, injury, are we healthy, and if all of it works out, my thing is, not going to say whether we're going to be a playoff team, whether we're going to be good, we've had so much losing on the Giants over the years, I just want improvement, and I'm hoping we're better, whatever comes, comes. If we have another losing season, it'll just be so depressing. It'll just... I'm hoping we're better. That's, that's just it. Bottom line. we got to get improved. You know, I think we're better than a normal rebuilding team because some of the players on our team are just veterans. I mean, the defensive end Williams, our quarterback, and back of quarterback they're all like veterans so we, it's kind of like a mix it's like like maybe what you call a, a it's like a rebuild but like a partial rebuild I guess what you call it or we have a chance to be pretty good I mean our division's always pretty tough but we're not that great 
I mean, people aren't, like, downgrading the Cowboys. I don't think the Eagles are all that great. I don't think the Commanders are all that gr great. I mean, it is what it is. We're as good as we are. And if we play like we did years past, it doesn't matter who we play. We're going to lose. But if we play the way I think we might be able to play, like a competitive team, then we're going to win. As bottom line, you gotta, you got you to gotta play good. Not too many penalties. Play hard. And, and there's a bit of luck involved, too. You know, got to get penalties that go your way. Ball rolls a certain way. You know. So anyway, I've gone on too long here. And I will just say, hopefully the Giants do good. And my favorite baseball team, the Yankees, as you can say, Yankees got the judge shirt on today. Hopefully both those teams do good. And then the Knicks and and when they start, whenever that is, I don't even know. <laughs> That's how much of a basketball fan I am. I don't even know when the season starts. Hopefully all my teams do good and have a wonderful day, everybody. And sorry about my ramble. It's just I ramble sometimes. I'm sorry. God bless everybody and Peace out.